This is a demonstration of the Mercedes V12 ignition system tester. Uh, here we have our tester unit. Over here we have our uh, voltage transformer. And here we have the coil pack to be tested. So we've made our connections to the voltage transformer following the uh, instructions. So we have the wires connected there. We make sure that the ground clip is connected to the metal casing of the voltage transformer. And we have our connections made under here on the coil pack. So the numbers on the wires are correlate to the pin numbers in the coil pack itself. And so next step, once we've made all the connections, we have 12 volts hooked up. We will turn power on and power on. We have circuit A is on, so we should read 180 volts approximately uh, output on the high voltage of the voltage transformer. And by pressing button number one, we will fire coil 1A in the coil pack. So looking at the front of the coil pack or where the front is towards the front of the engine. So this would be 1A and there's our spark. And when we push button number two, on the tester, then we will fire 2A. So second cylinder front coil 2A. By switching the AB selector switch to B, now when we press number one, the second coil in that first cylinder will fire. And when we press button number two, the second coil in cylinder number two will fire. So this is how we can do a test on the coil pack on the bench um, without having to have it in the vehicle. So this is a standalone unit. Once we're done with our testing, we shut the power off. And it takes uh, three to five minutes for the voltage to dissipate. We can do this rapidly by pushing the discharge button. And now what will happen is our high voltage will begin to drop rapidly. So within... Hmm, less than a minute we can pull the voltage down so it's safe to disconnect the wires and connect our next tool, the coil pack. So we're down to 23, 22, 20. So I would say below 15 volts we're safe now. Now we can disconnect and connect to the other side of the voltage transformer or disconnect the coil pack and connect the next coil pack to be tested. Uh, it is crucial to have spark plugs in the coil pack when you're testing, otherwise you can damage the coils.